mistakes are made to be learned from, right? So isn't it only fair that the discomfort that comes from a mistake is supposed to repeat itself with higher intensity every single time in order for one never to repeat that mistake? I honestly feel like that's how the universe is wired. My name is Kelvin and welcome to my 30 to 60 day monk mode journey. I'm learning how to listen to my mind, lead by my spirit and stay true to the person that I am. Today was a really rough and weird day. Um, I, I bombarded myself with tasks again and then my ADHD just kicked in. I found myself starting at least 10 to 15 tasks and I didn't complete any. I just had them started and my brain was like... Phew. But in the midst of all of this madness, my uncle called me and this is what happened. Okay, so before I do get to that, um, this is really a weird occasion because my uncle really calls me. And the reason why he did call me is the thing that actually blew my mind. So he basically just called me and he's like, yo, Tatos, um, that's my first name. And he basically asked me, why did I leave acting? So I basically broke it down to him. And just to quickly break it down to you is... I did not leave acting, but I had to build another career that is more sustainable so that I'm able to generate an income. Once I'm able to generate an income, then I'm able to chase off the passion because passion doesn't pay the bills. You understand? You can be very passionate, wait for five years and for six years, you on the sixth year, you get that big blow up. But I feel like time, time is very necessary. And especially if you don't have all of your needs actually covered for. So that's what I explained to him. And then we moved into a conversation of, finance we spoke about interest rates we spoke about taxes and the weird thing is he let me speak so he kind of like called me <laughs> to like sponge off my knowledge and then he let me speak and then he's like yo can you come see me on sunday i'm like all right all right and he's like yeah all right cool and then he just leaves it like that but i learned something from this you see in the midst of this weird conversation what i learned is with those two questions he actually made me realize that you know, there's certain mistakes that we do not want to repeat over and over again. What do I mean by this? For example, if you are going to get yourself in debt for um, the, the the most common topic here in South Africa would be a clothing account, right? If you get yourself in debt with um, such an account and then you're able to pay it off and then you go back again and you basically get yourself in the same debt, that means you haven't really learned because the way that the system and the interest rate system is set up it's kind of like set up as in you you're going to be paying me for four years but every single year you're going to be paying me 25 percent, which kind of makes the, the amount of time that you pay longer and every single year you pay even more so if you do not realize that and you keep on making the same mistakes then i feel like that uncomfortability you get from the mistakes it gets it gets even more intense bro that's when you start saying that i'm in debt uh, uh I don't get to enjoy my money. It's because you you are making a clear mistake that you just refuse to see and refuse to to come to terms with. So I feel like the universe with every single lesson that you would experience is exactly like that. Look, oblivion pushes us to make multiple mistakes, but still refuse to see that we are making mistakes. But curiosity, that's the point that makes you look at things and ask yourself like, why is this happening like this every single time? What am I doing that is not right? You understand? That's the sense of curiosity that I feel like we, we need to have, you know? And that's something that I bring my awareness back up to because sometimes you do lose curiosity thinking that, ah, uh, you know what? I know the process of life. I know how things go. So part of, part of my notes is the fact that even though I think I know, I do not know. So I should be always asking questions so that I can actually know. I mean, bro, I don't want to be like 35, 40 making the same mistakes. I've, I've seen that, you know, and this is the sense of oblivion. And this is a sense of uncomfortability that you, that you, you know, you, you have to live in until you actually solve it. The second part of my day just basically, yeah, no, that actually just kind of changed my viewpoint quickly because... I was chilling the whole day. I, I, I felt like absolute trash. I won't lie to you. 
and I think part of me feeling like that is me being overwhelmed as I think it was in day three where I spoke about when you overwhelm yourself with tasks you lose the appetite to be able to perform or complete tasks and that was the state I was in I was overthinking every single task which is another thing that I realized bro like we tend to overthink things so much so much that we spend three hours thinking about something but zero hours actually doing something and by the time you've overthink overthinked it to that extent then when you have to do the task you're already asking yourself you're like what's the point because most of the time our mind leads to a negative side so my conclusion to what i was going through yesterday is i just got up and i started posting youtube videos you know I was stressing the, at the fact that I don't have thumbnails, but I posted my I schedule. I actually scheduled the YouTube videos and then I just put in thumbnails and then my creativity just came as I did. So I also feel like some ideas will only be great with you doing something. You know, you won't have that great idea. You won't have that perfect product, but you need to have a product for that product to be improved. Yo, man, I hope you got something out of today because I definitely did get something out of today. And thanks for being with me on my journey. And please do hit the subscribe button and let's go to tomorrow. Tomorrow we are pushing for an even better day.